Uh, we were here, lots of us, and some of them that were right here on the stage with us have gone on to be with the Lord. There are three or four of them. We had a whole, a whole band, yeah. and, and three or four of them are already gone, and uh, we sure miss, miss them today. But we were here for the 150th anniversary, I think four years ago, and Bobby asked me to write a poem about the church, the Presbyterian Church. And I, I come up with this, and uh, but I've had to change the words because back then it was First Presbyterian, and today it's something else. Union. It's union today. And I just, I just put that in there. So this is how it says. I am Union Presbyterian. They call me Presbyterian 154 years or so, but this town corner burst alive with joy. Has it been that long ago? My purpose was rather plain and simple, living words, alive and still reigning true. Greetings to faces covered in beauty, that's also including each one of you. I started out with a simple message. It was God's own words that day. It's been 154 years, and my message is still the same. Okay, here is this song that uh, Bobby said was brand new. Uh, I started, my mother asked me, said, Billy, what do you want to do with your life? I said, I can sing songs and poems and sing them. And she said, if God wants you to do it, he'll educate you. <laughs> so I was 16 years old and I started writing songs. I, I started writing honky-tonk songs. <laughs> And uh, they were pretty good because I was 16 years old and back then they paid you more to sing in a honky-tonk than they did go to church. And, uh, and in 1966, I never did ask the Lord for a song, but I, I had a lot of gospel songs. And uh, I never had to ask the Lord for a song. And I told him, this is the words. I prayed, I got outside my bed and I prayed and I said, I want you to give me a song that is as good as how great thou art. I said, I don't care if nobody ever hears it. I said, I just want a song that's that good. And I said, for me. And for four nights, I would wake up, look up in the sky, I see in clouds going over, I guess I was dreaming, but I could see these words. And uh, every night, and on Friday I was at work, and uh, and those, these words started coming to me, and I sat down there where I worked and wrote these words in five minutes, and uh, and I thought, there's my song, and I called it Wonderful Works of God, and then when I saw the title, I said, boy, that's the greatness of God, and God all automatically sent me back down at the same time and I wrote a song called Greatness of God and everybody loved it it, become, it opened doors for me across the whole United States I got to travel everywhere because of that song and a couple of more I had about three or four there. but this song I never did anything with because I didn't want it to sound like Greatness of God now I sang it only a few times but I always wound up sounding like the greatness of God. And uh, people tried to help me with it. I, and I told Bobby, I said, I want it to be something something special I, and last year. And he worked on it. And, uh, and I said, I want it a little contemporary instead of being uh, like all my other songs. And we sat down and... Uh, when we worked on it hard, and then he he called me and he'd come up with something. He always has always done that with all my songs. I write it down, and then 
he listens to my word and he flowers me and says, you're here. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I was a, a good piano player myself back then. And uh, one night, for some reason, he was just there in 1980. He, he just come walking across there. And we met and, and I found out he played piano. He, he played that night and I said, that's it. I'll never play piano again. And he's been the piano player for me on hundreds of recordings and just everywhere I go. In fact, I lean on him now because he's about the last of our original group that was together for 60 years. And, uh, we're, and today, y'all are gonna be the first ones to hear this song and we're gonna goof up on it for sure. But you might get the idea of what I was trying to say. This is, this is from 1966, and it's brand new today. Y'all are the first ones to hear it. All right, Bobby. Thank you. 